Hey guys, it's Wanda and welcome to Crazy Days. And today we're going to talk about some freeze dried and dehydrated stuff right quick. And this is going to be a quick little video. Got a couple of questions I want to ask and, you know, find out your thoughts. In April of 20, I dehydrated a bunch of apples. And this is what they're looking like. Now, I cannot remember, but usually I soak all my apples in a citric acid so they're all looking brown but that's not the only thing get my scissors these things you can't tell it but watch this this is like spongy I mean they're just like a rubber ball dehydrated apples should not be spongy right so I'm going to open a pack, and I have about, I don't know, there's two, four, six, eight, about ten packs of apple slices, which really breaks my heart. Now, they're spongy apples. I'm only opening one because I'm going to ask your opinion. It's hard to tell smell-wise what they smell like. It doesn't smell bad, but I also know bacteria can get on stuff. Um, so, my thought is this bag that I just opened, it smells like tobacco. To be honest with you, it smells like apple tobacco. It's kind of got that apple-y smell. And don't ask me why I know what tobacco smells like, but my grandpa smoked a pipe. But, when you smell of tobacco, kind of that smell. But that's kind of what I'm smelling is an apple-y, tobacco -y smell. So I'm not eating these. But for those of you who have dehydrated before and have you had this problem, what do you do with them? What is your solution? Do you pitch them all out? I mean, this is 10 bags. And this is not the only thing. The reason I tell people now that I do not dehydrate for the last two or three years, I have not dehydrated stuff. This was about two years ago. I dehydrated for about three years straight, several things. When I went through my cabinets to take out some things about a year ago, everything that I had dehydrated had mildewed, even though they were vacuum sealed and everything. They were totally dried. I over dry everything because we are in the deep south and it is very humid here. And so I over dry everything and I'm very cautious about packaging it. The one thing I never did because I did not know is putting oxygen absorbers and moisture absorbers. No one had ever said anything about that, so I did not put that into these packages or the ones that I threw away. Most of what I threw away was. Uh, tomatoes that I had dehydrated and a lot of herbs and that just kind of broke my heart that I had put that much time and effort into dehydrating something and packaging it and then it still didn't last I had put some into jars and sealed them some of those just went limp I mean even though they're sealed they went limp so it's the moisture in our area our humidity level I don't know so y'all tell me in the comments below what would you do with these uh, the one I just opened going to the chickens just saying um, today Danny needs a carrot salad so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a carrot salad with shredded carrots that I freeze dried y'all listen to this these things are good um, what I do, this was done uh, January of this year. I open these up and I'm going to show you a recipe in, a, in another video. But can you see in there? I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get it where I can get a handful. You see this? Look at the color beautiful orange carrots now that's what i'm talking about so be looking for a recipe on using my freeze-dried carrots to make carrot salad 
in the next couple of days. It'll be coming up. Okay, when you're freeze drying, when you're canning, when you're dehydrating, whatever you're doing, please don't make this mistake. I was going through my freeze drying stuff. I'm separating everything out and putting like all eggs in one thing and putting eggs on the box and I'll show you a short clip of that. Um, fruit in one thing, I've got um, squash, zucchini, onions, peppers, things that need to go together I'm putting together in one box and I'm putting a label on it so I can find it. Out of all the stuff I've freeze dried in the past year and a half, one bag did not have anything on it. So do not do this. This is something you do not want to do. It is freeze dried and it is still good. You hear it? It's cracking. I don't know what it is. So to kill my curiosity, I can heat seal this back, but I don't know what it is. So I've got to open it. And this reminds me of when my kids were little. They had a great aunt that used to go to a store that sold uh, dented cans and they had one section they call mystery cans. And these mystery cans, you never knew what you got. It was the ones, the cans that the labels came off of and the grocery stores couldn't sell them because they didn't know what was in it. And so the guy had a whole section of mystery cans and the great aunt would go and she could get those cans for like a nickel a piece. And so she would buy up, say, 20 of them and bring them home. And ever so often, she would open a mystery can and she would tell the kids, whatever this is, we've got to make a meal of it or eat it or do, cook it in something. And if it was questionable, like she didn't know if it was dog food or potted meat, uh, she would open it up and if it was a meaty substance she would feed it to the dogs. She wouldn't even eat the meaty thing unless she could tell it was like tamales. Now you know what a tamale looks like in a can so she would know. But I can remember my son coming home one day saying that she had opened up some blueberry pie filling and they had just munched down on blueberry pie filling. She didn't even make a pie. She just let them just eat it. So she was always getting mystery cans. So that reminds me this is my mystery freeze dried something. Let me see. I didn't quite get it open. Let's go a little deep. I didn't want to go too deep because if I need to put it back, I heat seal it if it's not something I want to eat right now. It's hard to tell. Y'all, this is what I got. I'm pretty sure it looks like ice cream. It's got a hint of fruit in it. This is one of my something I made into a fruit thing and put in here. It's not ice cream by any means. But I know I put stuff in here that's good so I know it's not bad. It would be bad if I'd have bought bit into raw eggs or something like that but I could tell it wasn't raw eggs. Just saying. This is one of my fruit mixtures that I just blended down into a puree and poured in there. I want to say it's probably either something like um, a persimmon or um, something like that. It's got a touch of that type taste. Really, really good. Because I, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been since I did it. So don't do this. But if you put it in there, you know it's good. You can eat it. That's pretty good. So make sure you label your stuff. That's just all I'm saying. Um, after tasting it, I'm pretty sure it's a persimmon that I've done down. It is delicious. It has that uh, fruity taste. Um, 
you could rehydrate that and make it into a pudding or something if you wanted to or just take one out every now and then like I was and eat it just make sure you drink some water when you do eat uh, freeze-dried foods so my thought today what do I do with these apples I mean is it salvageable do I need to feed them all to the chickens or do I ever need to really dehydrate again in the deep south? I know people do all day long. I just don't know what I did wrong with these. And I'd like your comments. Put it in the description below. Guys, we'll talk to you later from Crazy Days.